We're about to demonstrate how to view the CAN bus signals on the GDS oscilloscope. So first you need to make sure the VMI is powered up with these um, battery clips. The, the cable has a, a right angle connector and that fits into the, uh, into the VMI up there. And the VMI has to be um, plugged in via USB to the tough book and don't forget to turn it on. On the um, tough book, with GDS open, you should see a little yellow lamp up the top of there. VMI on, just in the middle. Okay. We then, um, we've got two oscilloscope leads. Our red and our yellow oscilloscope leads the ends of which look something like that that's the yellow one so that fits into the end of the VMI just plug those in one second and the red one looks like that <laughs> okay um, on each end of those oscilloscope leads you've got two cables, for example red and red with black. The, the black part of the lead fits into the end of the, um, the battery clip. Something like that. Um, the same with the yellow and black clip. Okay, the yellow and black clip. It's into the side of the uh, the red and black. 